Today on Jeff Does What, I'm going to show you how I made this. The ultimate DIY shop vac with Cyclone dust separator. Coming up. So to get started on this, what I ended up doing, I went to Harbor Freight. I picked up their new six and a half horsepower Bauer vacuum. Also picked up their Cyclone and a five gallon bucket. So what we're going to end up doing, we're going to attach this to the five gallon bucket. But once we do that, I'm going to show you how I'm going to attach it to this as well. That way I can just roll around as one unit. Now with this unit, we're lucky harbor freight actually sends the lid already pre-drilled for us so essentially what we're going to do we'll put our gasket on here and then we'll put four bolts and nuts and tighten these down and once we have all these on here all we gotta do is attach this to the bucket. Now, once we got it installed, we just got it set on our bucket. Like I said, this just took eight millimeter to get that on there. That's the easy part. Now for our next one, all we gotta basically do is put this power shop back together, putting its wheels on, putting its handle on, which most of this just pops in place. You know, have small little screws or bolts. Nothing too hard. These front two wheels, all it is, we got a little, we'll slide them in and they're being held in by Philip says. Next, we have our rear wheel send saw. We got this plastic piece that will pop in right there. Also held in by some Philip says screws. Once we have this on, we'll slide our axle through and then our wheels will be put on and they're held in by a little cotter pin now once you have your cotter pin in there make sure to bend that that way you're not losing your wheels now all you gotta do is pop in your little red hub caps Get to this point, we'll flip it back over and we have our handles to install. Like I said, these are fairly easy. They'll slide in. And you'll use the Phillips head screwdriver as well on these. Once that's all screwed in place, we'll just pop our handle in. Now, this is where we're going to differ from putting the rest of this together. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to build a little platform up here. That way we can set our bucket on top. Now, how I'm going to do that, I'm going to get some PVC pipe and using the tool collection, our tool holders on here, we're going to build a PVC frame, screw a bore to it, and place this on there. All right. So once we have everything together, the next thing we need, we need to figure out where we're wanting our platform on here. So what I'm going to do is where the tool attachments are, I'm going to measure down, put my tape measure in there, and somewhat see where everything falls on my bucket. So I'll, I'm going to end up cutting a piece of plywood and that this bucket can slide into. Now, right up to this lip is almost 34 inches, but we also got to take account for my elbow and I don't want it sitting directly on top of the vacuum as well. So I'm gonna cut my legs about 33 inches tall. Now to make my legs, what I have, I have some two inch schedule 40 PVC pipe. That way it's got a nice good thick wall. It can handle a little bit of weight and PVC's fairly cheap. I was I picked up two 10 foot joints of this at my local Ace Hardware and it was 30 bucks. All right, so now that we got our four risers, 
I have four elbows as well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have two, we put two elbows facing each other on this side, two on this side. So we gotta measure and cut out a piece of pipe right here, same for this side. And once we have this all cut out, I can actually measure my board so I know where I can put the cyclone to have sitting on top. Now, as you see, like I said, this is coming along fairly great now. With this, like I said, I can't cut just perfectly straight square due to the fact that this front part is wider than the back. So I'm gonna get some measurements off here and then I want to import them into Lightburn where I can cut out a perfect circle for this. So I'm not having to sit there and try to cut it out myself because I got a big laser. Why not use it? Now what I did, I took all my measurements actually into Corel Draw, designed it exactly how I wanted so we got our, here's gonna be our back piece. There's our front. There's our circle cut out right there. I got it imported into lot burn. That way it makes it a lot easier on myself to the fact, like I said, Corel Draw is always my go-to program for designing. I could have done this in lot burn as well, but I'm gonna use what's quickest and easiest for me. And you need to do the same as well. Whatever works best for you, whether it's doing this or if you have a jig to just cut out circles and then rip the wood to whatever you need it to be. Now we got our plywood set in here. All we gotta do, frame it out, close our lid, keep the dust, the smoke out of here, and let her burn. I got my board cut out. I ended up not taking in enough, or taking out the diameter of the bucket as much as I thought I did. So it's not sitting down as deep as I'd like it to do, but actually gonna work out. So now that actually gives me a little bit of room right there where I can come back here in a little while and make a shelf that will fit up in there to help hold different accessories. So all we gotta do now is come through with our drill and I'm gonna put four holes in here to screw this to the top to help hold it on. And I'm gonna do this one at a time. That way I know for sure I'm not I know everything's gonna line up as it should. Cause I could go through and drill all four of these and something can move and they not wanna line back up for me. Now with this, we don't have too much to do. So what we gotta do now, if we gotta connect our hose up to the top up here. Loosen our hose clamp a little bit because it's too tight. Get that slid on all the way. Now we can tighten up our hose clamp. And we'll take this in. Connect it into the shop back. Now, all we gotta do is connect our hose to up there. Now on connecting our hose, I wasn't paying enough attention, so it does have this adapter. We'll press in there, and then that will press onto there we're good to go. All right, to test out, to see how well this Cyclone Dust Collector is gonna work to help save our HEPA filter on our shop vac, to make it last even longer, and in the process, make this all around 
a lot better air quality for the shop instead of just constantly filling up that bag and it's gonna help out our shop back so much with clogs or it's just gonna make it breathe a lot better and cause our HEPA filter to last longer. So I have some stuff I've wood planed. I've got stuff I've cut off the table saw and I just got some random dust back behind me. We're gonna back up all these piles and see how much this collects compared to what is in the bag. All right, so I did about five minutes of vacuuming across the shop. And definitely picked up a wide variety of stuff. That's not too bad. Now let's check the bag. Cause that right there is gonna be, well, I mainly wanna know if I'm safe. Let me bring you in closer. Our bag appears to have nothing in it. Our filter's real plain. Like I said, I and I was vacuuming up a wide variety of dust. Stuff so from the planer, the miter saw, the table saw, DA sanders. Now there are pros and cons to this. Now the pro, we're saving our filter and uh, shop vac bags, which is going to in turn save us money. And also, it makes it a lot easier for me to roll this whole thing around, where if I was to have this separate, then I got to carry this and push that around, where I have one unit where I can just grab by this, and it makes it a lot easier to roll from the table saw to the miter saw, because right now I don't have dust collection in this shop. So this is my first step to that. I wanted something that was affordable that fit within my pocketbook range right now. Like I said, I had to buy all this myself. Harbor Freight don't have a clue who I am besides uh, whenever I go in there to buy something. Now, the biggest con, this lid is a pain to get off. Now, granted, the more I use it, the easier it will become. But I did have to use a pry bar to get this off. Now, like I said, that's because that is a brand new lid with a good suction. Now, once it gets a little looser, I'll actually be able to go, come in with some, some sort of gasket to put along that lid and to make it easier to take on and off. Now, I do wish there was a few little relief cuts in this style lid, but that's always something I go back and find a better lid I like and just drill my hole and re-bolt that to that. Now the other con is this right here. My hose did slide off a few different times on there. Um, so I will have to figure out something to help keep it on there better. And also I do have a longer hose coming that I ordered from Rockler here a few days ago. I don't know quite when it will be in, but that will make it a little easier while I'm not having to constantly pull. Cause what I was doing when it popped off, I was pulling this it caught uh, an extension cord because I do have extension cords everywhere and it pulled that hose right off. That's all on me on that, but I, I would have liked it to at least stay connected. Overall, I recommend doing this little project. Like I said, it is definitely going to help out with dust collection and to save you money in the long haul. Yeah, this part right here was roughly $40 plus a, a bucket. So we're talking another five bucks. But you gotta think how much a HEPA filter costs and how much them bags cost and how often you go through them. If you're constantly cutting stuff, you'll see your savings pretty quick. But now if you're not, you don't care about that, hey, go on and go through them filters in the bags as quick as you want to. I myself definitely won't like this. And also at the same time, I now have a fire starter in here, so I can just pour this out into my burn pile whenever I'm clearing some of the land outside and got something to make it easy to start my fires with. So if you like seeing DIY content 
on Jeff Does What, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to help out even more, send the super things or become part of the channel membership. Like I said, this is fairly new on there. I don't have a lot posted with the channel membership, but I hope to add more and more as time goes on where we can maybe do some uh, membership live streams or just BS with me however you want. I mean, but until next time, y'all take it easy.